Well, real excitement here. The signing has been completed and we're about to see his debut. Will he hit the ground running? Always oh, a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. Marvellous Nakamba. Watkins. And continues his run. Can he put them in front? This looks promising. Traore. Danny Garcia. Zielinski. Nakamba. It needs an accurate cross. Matt Target. It's with Nakamba. Traore. Real danger. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. There's been a goal in the Manchester City match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a goal for Manchester City. Ten minutes played. And in with a real chance. Must be. And not cleared away properly. Lacazette. Can he get them in front? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. The defenders will certainly have done their homework, Lee, and on that basis must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, his form is sensational, Derek. He can't stop scoring. He's having so much fun out there. Consistent form, relentless hunger, a desire that goes beyond the norm. He's got that extra yard. He's a joy to watch. Awar. Now Bayerine. Lacazette. And take it away. Traore. Zielinski. Marvellous Nakamba. And news of a goal in the City game, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. A glorious chance. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And unfortunately, we had to cut Alan McAnally short just then. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And the lead, as things stand, is 2-0. Now sliding in field. Now just the tackle that was needed. And space for them here on the flank. Marvellous Nakamba. Will it be? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Useful looking ball. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Zielinski. Esri Konsa. Pepe, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Consa. Now well, the pass not finding its target. Tremendous ball played through. In position. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Zielinski
Matty Cash. Ollie Watkins. Nakamba. And here's Garcia. Zielinski. Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay. Sometimes keepers use those posts as the part of their defence, but not on that occasion. In off the woodwork. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Hector Bellerin. Now with Pepe. And threading it forward. Well, it all counts for naught. Arsenal trailing, but they have a corner. What can they do with it? Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up frontly. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Marvellous Nakamba. Grealish. And he read it well. And news of a goal at St James's Park. Let's get the details from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 46 minutes played. 2 0. He's in with a chance. Corner awarded to Arsenal. It's a short one. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And can he find someone at the far post? Tierney. On the ball, Zakaria. And a good tackle. And well, we never like cutting off Alan McAnally, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. To confirm, Chelsea did score in that match, and their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. Watkins. What well, a very big transfer story that we've been covering, and now I can tell you official news coming through. Gabriel Jesus has completed his move to PSG. I think he'll add some real quality to this new club. Oh, surely! Serious miscue in terms of the strike. Easy for the keeper. No, he won't have an easier shot to save today. That was really awful finishing from the attacker. I believe there's been a goal in the City game. Alan can fill us in. It's a third goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. He was played in behind the defence and despite the keeper catching his leg, he stayed on his feet to score. Must score! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now! And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique. Bread and butter strike, really. But it's in the back of the net. So, 2-0 now. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And they are seemingly cruising now. 3-0 in front. And they deal with the threat this time. Villa have had nearly all the possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Now, this could really lift spirits. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, the action underway again. And that goal for Arsenal certainly puts a different complexion on the game. Jack Grealish. Marvellous Nakamba. 
Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa taking on Newcastle United. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. A super tackle, and they've won possession. Breaking at pace. Getting forward. This could square the game. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. And he knocked it over the touchline, so it will be a throw-in here. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. De Jong. This could be the equaliser. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. Matty Cash. Bertrand Traoré has it. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Cash. Plenty of options. It did look on for them, but not to be. Inside the final five minutes now. Well, the clock is not their friend. These Arsenal... He's in behind. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Connor Hurahan. Grealish. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. And there we have it. The final whistle is blown by the referee. And a draw for Arsenal. I wonder how you saw the...